the Honorable Member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, an internal audit carried out for the Canadian Food Inspection Agency shows that Canada lacks resources to ensure adequate inspection of food being imported into the country. At a time when Canadians are increasingly concerned with what uh, they are eating and that food imports are on the rise, when will the minister increase resources for the agency in order to prevent uh, citizens from being contaminated? The Secretary Parliament. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Chair, Mr. Speaker, our government takes food safety very seriously, and that's why we are continually improving our food inspection practices. The audit in question was done between 2005 and 2008. Since the audit has been completed, CFIA has already taken action to improve enforcement, prosecute more offenders, and increase training of inspectors. And since taking office, Mr. Speaker, our government has added more than 500 wow. food inspectors, wow. and this year alone, CFIA's budget has increased by 13 percent. Honourable Member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, today we learned that this government has no strategy to ensure that health hazards are not entering Canada. An audit into the safety of imported food says that while imports are skyrocketing, our food inspection agency is failing to keep Canadian families straight, uh, safe. Instead, the government inspects billboards, but no action for food safety. Mr. Speaker, when is this government going to put aside partisan games and shameless vanity and actually take the health and safety of Canadians seriously? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Agriculture. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. If I may, I'd like to share a quote which absolutely contradicts what the member is saying from the OECD report. That report said, quote, Canada is one of the best performing countries in the 2010 Food Safety Performance World Ranking Study. Its overall grade was superior. But, Mr. Speaker, as I said, our government takes food safety very seriously. Two other initiatives that we've taken, we've established import surveillance teams which performed 480 border blitzes last year, and we've delivered $233 million in the Food Safety Action Plan to improve controls on imported food. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member.